The Apollo astronauts took a photograph of our Earth as it rose above the moon. Our Earth is like a perfect blue marble floating in the black void of space. And I just thought, I'll make planets. We're ready for takeoff. Are you guys set? Ready. I'd love to see different geology and floodplains and desert. It takes me away. I'd love to explore. When somebody holds one of my planets in their hands, I want you to imagine what it might be like to crawl into that little world and to orbit around it and to imagine what life might be like there. But I also, I don't want you to find out everything about it at first glance. Glass is the most amazing material. It's an alchemic blend of sand and metallic oxides combined with extraordinary blinding heat. The result is this amazing material that flows and drips like honey. When it's hot, glass is alive. And it has this inner light and transcendent radiant heat that make it simultaneously one of the most fascinating and one of the most insanely frustrating materials for an artist to work with. It's a process of building up layer after layer from the inside to the outside. Just a little, the most gentle whisper will blow it out. There's no way I've mastered glass. I've done it for almost 50 years and I am constantly surprised. I decided to start hiding my planets because I was digging around in the flower beds in the fall and I found several handmade marbles. They were just as bright and beautiful as the day they went missing when kids probably were called in for supper maybe 70 or 80 years before. They sort of transcend age and religion and culture. Maybe they can transcend time. The planet that I hide now will be just as fascinating to somebody 50 years or 500 years from now. As I began to travel, I always put a couple of planets in my bag with me. And actually, if you go to my website, you can propose a place where you'd like to hide an infinity planet. And people have sent back wonderful photos of places that bin, places that put planets. I like the idea that it's a gift. I like the idea that maybe it will be found and somebody will wonder what it is. There are at least 3,000 or more planets hidden around the world. Some of them are in truly exotic and hard to reach areas, and some of them are in totally mundane places where you might just see them walking along and looking down at an old tree 